Long gone are the days of fixing a cassette tape with a pencil. The Fusion Infotainment Center takes the best in navigation, audio apps, and entertainment and puts them all at your fingertips. Over the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at all the features and just how easy they are to use. Looking at the unit, there are a number of buttons surrounding the screen. Eject, mute, volume up, volume down, and your HDMI port. Moving to the other side, the layout is power, home, navigation, back, and a micro SD card slot. On the touchscreen itself, you have your Bluetooth icon, Wi-Fi strength, signal strength, and time. When you turn the system on for the first time, this welcome screen appears. Choose your language and press start. The user license agreement appears. You do have to accept this to move on. Once that is done, you have the option to connect to Wi-Fi. Find your internet source and enter the password. If you want to pair up your Bluetooth device, now is a good time to do that. Back on the home screen, touching the media icon brings up all of your entertainment options and you have a number of choices. AM FM radio, satellite radio, a connected iPod, Bluetooth, a USB drive, an SD card, CD, and your aux in. Under the video tab, your choices are USB, an SD card, and DVD. Tapping these three bars brings up the EQ settings. You can select a preset sound or create your own. The navigation icon brings up your map. Looking at the screen, the plus and minus zoom your map in or out. The magnifying glass brings up how you want to choose your destination. Go home. It's just that. It's your home base. Store the address here so when you are ready to go home, it is just a tap away. You have a number of options here. You can choose find RV parks or RV services like the nearest dump station. Hit the closest gas station. Maybe you want to find a place to eat. If you have the address of where you want to go, simply type it in and you are on the way. Now here's a common issue. You're not sure what to do once you've arrived. By tapping here, you can find all the area attractions, shopping, even add a shortcut to a category of your choice. You can check out all the categories simply by tapping the categories button. A number of choices pop up here. Once you've saved a location, tapping the save button pulls up the directions to that place. Recent shows you the last 50 places you've been. After you've chosen your destination, the screen will calculate your ETA. On the right side, you will see icons that allow you to quickly and easily find things like the nearest gas station, bank, or restaurant. The X closes that screen out. These three lines at the bottom right pull up options for you to stop the trip, see what's up ahead, or even look at your trip data. To change any of your navigation settings, go to the Settings page. Tap the navigation icon. Here you can fine tune the way your navigation unit looks from the way it plots your course. Profile allows you to set the size of your motorhome. You can also choose to avoid certain road conditions. Change the icon displayed on your map. Hey, if you want to be a bouncing beach ball, you can. The phone icon is for your hands-free calling. Once your phone is paired, you can import your contacts and this works just like your cell phone. Call Log displays the call list of missed calls, outgoing and incoming calls. The contact list is exactly that. Everyone stored in your phone. You can even search for a particular person. The Apps tab is really, really cool. You now have access to the internet, social media, and so much more. Browser opens up the internet so you can visit your favorite websites, like this one. When you have a micro SD card or a USB thumb drive inserted into the slot, you can look at photos or watch a movie. I love this Miracast feature. On your phone or tablet, enable screen mirroring. Then when you touch the Miracast button here, whatever is on your phone is now on the touch screen. You can stream a movie or play back pictures or videos that you took that day and listen to it all through the Thor Motor Coach sound system. The vehicle camera button pulls up your backup camera. For HDMI, when you connect an HDMI cord from a mobile device or camera, you can pull up whatever is on that device. In this example, the cord is attached to my phone and you can see, here's Tom hard at work. Auto Connect is the app you use when you want to use your mobile device as a remote. Once you're connected to Bluetooth, you can now use that device as a remote control. First, you need to download the Auto Plus app by Garmin onto the device you plan on using as your remote. 
Now touch the app on your Fusion infotainment system and your devices are paired. Tutorial is a short video overview of the infotainment center. Hit YouTube when you want to watch all your favorite Thor Motor Coach YouTube videos. A quick swipe to the next screen and you can pull up your navigation, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth connections. The phone button allows you to set auto answer for hands-free calling. Here you can adjust your display, choose the brightness level, even change wallpapers. Touching the sound icon gives you control over how you want your system to sound. Set the EQ. You can even set different volume levels for your media, navigation, notifications, even adjust the feedback from the touchscreen. Touch the gear here and you get advanced settings for the radio, USB and SD card, DVD, HDMI and your auxiliary input, Bluetooth, iPod and the satellite radio. Don't worry about messing anything up because you can always restore the system defaults by tapping the three dots and hit restore. When you tap the media button under settings, this is how you adjust how you want the videos to play. System brings up a number of different items and options so you can fine tune the system to your liking. Select the language, adjust the time, update the system, you can even do a factory reset. Even with all of these features, it is still way easier to use than trying to fix this. Ooh, I almost got it, almost got, ah, it kinked. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.